this is how the process is unfolding for this significant ceasefire in the city of Holmes. Down here you see this group of men, more than 300 fighters, most of them linked to hardline groups like Al-Qaeda who want no part of this ceasefire deal. So they're going to be boarding buses and will be taken under a security escort north uh, to the area of Idlib, which is under rebel control. Families are going with them as well, and the families have already moved through these areas, helped by the Syrian Arab Red Crescent and the United Nations. Some people, dozens of them, were injured and will need medical care. There's ambulances waiting down at the end of this road. The UN trucks, who will provide the security escort, and the bus you see here now is full of family members, desperate to get out of an area which has been besieged by government forces for the last few years. This is both a military agreement as well as a humanitarian one. It provides relief to the community and a new agreement between the opposition fighters who choose to remain here and the government forces. Some argue that this is the only way forward now in Syria, but each deal has its own difficulties and dangers. This one is significant for homes. The test still is as to whether or not it survives.